nervous. It's dead lifty. No, I'm actually just going to intro this video right here. So guys, welcome back to another video. And um, today we are back in Ultraplex Durham, and we are in for some deadlifts. And I'm um, most definitely nervous for it because this is actually the first deadlift session since Strong in Dubai, and ever since everything's been going wrong, obviously with my hips and everything. Weird story as well, my sciatica's back and that's something that's not been here since around 2018 and I thought I actually got fully rid of it but something's obviously triggered to come back. I'm, I'm combating it immediately, like I am getting straight on top of it almost immediately which is something that of course is making it a lot easier than normal and uh, more easier than what I can remember anyway because back in 2018 I suffered really badly from it. Um, I've, I've still been able to box off some successful sessions, obviously not my usual type of approach. Again, with today being the first deadlift session, I thought I would bring it to YouTube and I thought I would really um, kind of be a little bit more kind of open with my training throughout this kind of injury phase and, and, and kind of injury management phase of me making sure that I'm nailing every variable throughout this phase. So that's why we've brought deadlifts here today. Of course, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how I'm going to feel. Um, but at the same time, I'm just going to go by how I feel. And if that means I can only do three plates aside, then that's all I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to do all my um, rehabilitation work beforehand. I'm going to still jump on the treadmill um, and do between eight and 10 minutes again, just to kind of get the hips warmed up and get everything really warm and obviously get everything loose. And again, I'm going to do my stretching and that prior to me actually deadlifting. And then of course, we'll take you through the deadlift session. I'm also on back today as well with a little bit of additional shoulders, which again, I might speak to you guys throughout the session and um, why we're doing that. But at the same time, it's not really anything major important to Today is obviously back day as well. It's hopefully going to be a good one. I'm kind of sticking to more so supported stuff throughout the back session just to ensure that I'm not putting a lot of um, additional unnecessary pressure on obviously my glutes and my hips and my lower back in general just because that's where everything's really tight. But no more rambling. Um, I hope you guys can take something from this face, not just this video because I do want to try and add as much value to these videos as possible so you guys can, if anybody struggles with anything like this, then we can kind of go over it together. Um, but apart from that, we're 15 weeks out. We're getting so close to the show now. But before this car ruins my shot by being so loud, let's just get on with the session. ever see me using a fucking band in the gym and it's definitely not out of choice I think I'm being forced to in fact no it's out of choice because I'm obviously taking a lot to do with this kind of rehab part in which I know that it's something that I probably slacked on in the past but again I'm in a way being forced to use a band because it's what I need to use to obviously get a little bit better and a little bit more kind of looser and fresher so I'm still pretty nervous but I am looking forward to deadlifting. I've done obviously my kind of warm ups. We went under the uh, treadmill, done 10 minutes, and now it's a case of seeing what's here with some deadlifts. Please don't forget to drop a like for me and um, subscribe to the channel if you're new about here. Turn on post notifications again because it does help the channel grow, and we are so close to 7,000 subscribers now. Um, and realistically, this is the only reason that I'm taking you through all of this because I want to get 7,000 subscribers. So that's it. I'm only joking. I'm not actually joking.
felt kind of weird because obviously I'm having to I'm having to keep in my mind that I can't be all out and explosive. So with the 140 there, we're keeping the reps up just all the way up until around four plates here, which I might do around three reps with. Just ensuring that my hips are okay as I'm finding that it's my hips that are really the tightest just from a sciatic standpoint. Um, so ensuring that this will be okay. I should be fine with four plates, but I think whenever whenever I hit four plates, realistically, this will be a kind of dictator of where I'm going today. 140 was also my last belt this warm up. I'm gonna put my belt on now and then again stay a little bit more safer. But at the end of the day, guys, it's not my back that I'm feeling, it's just my hips. So I'm just ensuring that I'm getting a good enough leg drive and the most that I can get out of this left side because realistically the sciatic nerve is obviously down my left leg and it's on the left side so that's where we're kind of staying that we're monitoring that bit the most but it's feeling all right um I can tell it's been a good few weeks since I deadlifted but we're not letting it get to anything um, I'm, I'm not letting it take over we're just going in seeing what's there and then we'll work from there check out how sexy this new belt is I mean I don't know but I've never seen a belt so sexy in my whole entire life. This is actually a brand new one from Strength Shop. Um, they've had to send me out a smaller belt because my weight, um, my weight, my waist has got that small that my original belt doesn't fit me anymore. So of course, I had to ask for one of the new patterns, the new materials. And again, whenever it came, I was like, Gee! I mean, it's like, I don't know. Comment down below whether you like this or not. Don't comment down below whether this is a women's belt or not, because it's most definitely not a women's belt, is it? I think I would sit that belt. <laughs> I just can't wait till you get fat again and then it's mine. Jaw clips. If you still have not implemented these into your gym bag yet, or your gym has still got shitty plastic clips, then I would most definitely recommend you get a pair of these because they're like double pronged, which means they're so much stronger. Like that is literally not coming off anything. And anybody that remembers back to around a year ago um, when I deadlifted in Rotherham and the plates just exploded. I mean, I've been there loads to be fair when the plates have slid. But like ever since implementing these and ever since Strength Shop sent me these out, I have never looked back. They're phenomenal, honestly phenomenal. So if you've still not got a pair, they're literally only like 15 quid or something like that. Use my code Kiffy West, you'll get a little bit of discount. Um, but honestly, phenomenal. So guys, 260 for five, being as safe as possible. As you would have seen, I was in control of that 260 from the start of the set to the finish of the set. There was no, um, no fast drop in it. I was staying pretty much under tension the full time. I let it dead stop. I went straight back into my next rep. And don't get me wrong, like I felt a lot of pressure on my back because obviously I know that there's literally next to no support there um, because there's no body fat left. But, after doing that set and coming away safe, coming away comfortable, coming away, um, yeah, just, just safe and comfortable. They're they are probably two of the biggest key, key words there because the last time I tried 250, as you would have seen like two or three videos ago, 
it never ended well. Um, I felt something in my glute and I, I, knew, I knew that was pretty much the kind of start. And with how things went on Smith squats, with how things have just been feeling over the past couple of weeks, it's been really hard. And don't get me wrong, 260 for five is nowhere near anything um, good, that I would classify as good anyway that I've ever done. But I feel really good after that set. I feel really fucking just, just comfortable and I just, like coming away from that set pain free has like just made this fucking session a whole lot better and it's not even started yet so all is good I'm happy I'll take that I stayed in control now we can move on to back happy enough and, and, and pain free which again is, is a big win so we'll take that This will actually be a PR on this to be fair. Like, I literally cannot recall me doing three plates on this chest supported low row, but I'm feeling good today. I'm still not gonna take the session, don't get me wrong, like it's not gonna be the same session as normal. And um, because I'm still taking on board, obviously I am carrying an injury. My injury management and variables that need to be nailed have to be nailed. So just because you see me do 260 for five, that's nowhere near anything I, I'm, I'm capable of doing or used to doing. So just please take that on board that as much as 260 might seem like a very heavy weight for some people, for me, that's not even working weight territory. So I left it at five. I'm now gonna jump onto a chest supported row because obviously we've kind of done, we've already done a back session this week as you would have seen in the last video. And um, or a couple of videos ago, what happened in that session was I've done a couple of non-supported things and this session will primarily just be focused around supported things. So it's just staying as safe as possible. I am feeling safe on this again, it's chest supported, it's low roll, we're doing an underhand grip as well. Um, underhand to neutral, it's kind of in the middle. But it feels good enough, I'm going to go three plates aside, we'll take one working set and then we'll move on. One of the biggest thing I will say whenever it does come to a pull down, whether that be a wide grip pull down, close grip pull down, medium grip pull down, whatever the fuck pull down, just ensure that you're always focused on driving your elbows towards your hips. Because that way you can ensure that you're gonna connect with your lats. Now this is one of the biggest things that I do want to cover in today's video is, within the process of growing a big back, you need to be ensuring that your mind to muscle connection is on point. Because if it's not on point, then you're not working your back, you're not growing your back, you're not improving your back, you're not doing anything to do with your back. If anything, what you'll do is you'll actually roll with your shoulders. You'll build a big set of shoulders, but at the end of the day, a big set of shoulders is nothing without a big wide dinned back. So ensuring that you're, you're making sure your elbows are always being driven down the way, your mind to muscle connection always comes first before the load. So don't try and chuck on crazy amounts of load on pull downs, rows, chest supported rows, non supported rows, any form of pull downs because you need to ensure that your mind to muscle connection is always going to be the key here. Initially, you can't look at your back whenever you're training your back. You can't, you can't see it. You, you can, <laughs> nobody's got eyes in the back of their head to be able to look in the mirror behind you and see if you're contracting your back or not. So ensuring that your mind to muscle connection comes first, your execution comes first, your connection comes first, and then you can start implementing the load. That's how your back's going to improve. So always remember that. Whether you're doing any form of pull down or row, don't get me wrong, it goes for any body part. Execution is definitely the key to, to improvement, but at the same time, you do have to take on board that we can't see our back. Um, so making sure that we know we're connecting with it is essential, very essential. Over here, only five plates aside on the prime press. <laughs> 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 
trying to keep up with kicking. <laughs> Here we go. Up, oh, yeah. Oh. You're fucking yeah. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah, come on now. Come on, Brad. Oh. Come on. Here we go. Yeah. And again now. Come on then. Come on then. Now we're working. Yeah. Good. Oh. Can you rest? Come on now. Yeah. Good. Yes, come on now, Brad. Come on. At least one. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, oh now, come on now, come on now. Yeah, shoot us that shit, shoot us that shit. Oh. Holy shit. Yeah. Did you see a kippy Scottish aggressiveness shouting at me? <laughs> God. I thought you were hoping you could hear me. <laughs> Uh, honestly, that's what I feel. I took four things in my break. What do you got? Like I've done like, the most I've done is like four and a five, I think. But even at that, I've done four and a five with like three, four and eight, you know what I mean? Anything, anything, like, I've never attempted anything over that, but like, I don't know. I'm, I find it, see, because you're a lot, you're very wide, do you know what I mean? So like, you'll get on really well with this. Whereas, whenever I press out, I don't know if you're like, I feel as if I, I'm like out here when I'm pressing, do you know what I mean? I tell you the mistake people make as well. The machine goes yeah. this way. Yes, 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 yes. So if you line your elbow to go this way, yeah. you're just driving uh, against the machine right, all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. So I try to line my elbow, so I press so, almost so, like, so you can go like this. Oh, right, so yeah, it's yeah, almost yeah. like a like a clean press. Get that, like, get that. Well, that makes that makes cool sense, like, but oh fucking hell. We need to get a oh, shoulder mate, session honestly, for the YouTube. Oh, 100%, 100%. We got it, awesome. that's it, that's official. That's official. I just won't be turning the vest though. I'll let him turn the vest. <laughs> Fuck it, fuck that, I paid in a bed, you still make me look like a baby. <laughs> no, honestly, unreal. Thank you very much. Awesome. Upper back to finish. This is obviously something you would have seen in my last back session, except the emphasis was totally on the lower back and the lower lats last session, whereas today the emphasis is on the upper back. So we've kind of done the lower back movements already. We've focused obviously, um, again, on the lats just itself, itself, like we've done a lot of direct lat work. Um, so making sure that we're not neglecting the upper back is something that again, when building an overall, like you've got to think of your back overall. You've got your lower back, you've got your mid back, and you've got your upper back. Upper back, we can count traps coming in there as well. Um, you're going to get some indirect trap work on, on your things like rows and deadlifts, and that's realistically why my traps are quite a strong body part. Um, so they've took quite a lot of indirect work from heavy deadlifts, heavy rows. So that's why you'll never see me do any kind of direct trap work unless it's like out of the, the, the ordinary one day um, out of the month or something like that. But we're going to finish on um, the Atlantis T-bar row today. Upper back emphasis, like I've said, so we're going to go for a nice wide grip out here. Goal is going to be to make sure that I'm still driving my elbows in, not towards the hips this time, but more so towards the lats. So ensuring that I'm not flaring them out too much, because the second that I flare them out too much, I'm just hitting my rear delts. Um, and the emphasis is not on the rear delts here; it's on the upper back. So make sure that whenever you're hitting your back, you are hitting it from all angles. That's one thing again that I, I can't recommend enough: is just ensuring that you're hitting your back from all angles, um, and then you can you can be almost guaranteed that your back is going to grow overall and not just from one kind of one kind of part from the lower mid or upper you want you want an overall huge dense shredded back
Done, finito, done, back, a little bit of shoulders and a tiny bit of biceps to finish. So that was the main thing with today's session, was just trying to incorporate a little bit of shoulders in there as well because taking on board that, especially my side delts, with them being a lagging area and to be fair, just with being natural, this is me claiming the natural card where me having shit shoulders. Um, so it's just a case of knowing that the side delts can take a little bit extra volume Again, that's something that we know that we're always going to recover from. There's no issues with it. It's not going to have an impact on future shoulder sessions. It's not going to have an impact on any other um, session in general. So obviously, with us moving to legs next anyway, it's like there's no real concern about them not recovering. And they're such a small body part as well that can take a lot more time. You can put a lot more through them. You can do a lot more volume on them. You'll still recover regardless. So it's nothing to ever worry about. Again, throwing in some arms at the end because we don't do any form of direct major arm work that's not like spontaneous. Um, so we don't really plan arm work. It just gets thrown in at the end of the most of the sessions. So that's why you've seen today we threw in a bit of bicep at the end. And then it means that whenever we move on to further sessions that's not an arm day, which only happens every Friday, um, we just do pretty much whatever. So biceps, triceps get thrown in at the end. And again, that's really how I've incorporated them into most of my sessions throughout the past kind of good few years anyway. We still train them every day, and we still recover from them, we still progress from them, but overall, taking a really good session today, I'm very happy with how things have been. Um, it's just really a case of now recovering to the absolute best of my ability, stretching, making sure that I'm staying on top of my uh, rehabilitation work, because taking on board that I still need to be careful within tr uh, training, so whenever I come into the gym, I still need to be very careful. I'm still doing that, but I just hope that with me doing this, I can get back to normal sooner. That logic tells me that's what's going to happen anyway. But apart from that, we're done for a day. Um, like I said, moving on to legs next. So that'll probably be across my Instagram. Again, guys, if you don't follow me on Instagram, that's where I'm active the most. Um, West underscore, nice and easy. I'll fire it up on the screen for you guys as well. But apart from that, done for another day, of course. Please do not forget to drop a video a like for me. Subscribe to the channel if you are new about here. And I will see you all in the next video.